What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this one, we're going to talk about the new season two leaks that we have just gotten. There's actually even more information as well. And Call of Duty has officially started their marketing for the season two update. And they have also confirmed that Fortune's Keep is going to be arriving in season two. And they did a couple of updates to it. They changed some of the POIs. And that's what we will be discussing in today's video. On top of that, I did upload a couple of other videos over the last few days. If you want to know about zombies, check out yesterday's video. If you want to know about the Warhammer event, I uploaded a video on that, the battle pass, the full roadmap. Check out all those videos if you don't know what's going on with season two and also don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Call of Duty news and updates But let's go ahead. Let's get into it So Call of Duty has sent out five different packages to five streamers Two of the five streamers have officially announced that they have received the package The first one was Kesto the second one was Outlaws Margin the other three streamers are still a mystery They're more than likely going to be uncovering and unboxing with tomorrow leading up to the Wednesday reveal Which will be the day that we get the roadmap the blog post and all the details in regards to this update They tweeted saying with only five people to receive this unique package, I am fortunate, quote unquote, to be able to open this with y'all. What do you think is inside this season two? We'll keep the vibes going unboxing at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, pretty much confirming to us the contents in the box will be in regards to Warzone, and that will be Fortune Skeep and Island that we saw previously in Call of Duty that they did announce at COD Next would be returning in early 2024. And once again, like we talked about earlier, they're going to follow the same pattern that they had last year where they introduced Ashika Island in Season 2. It looks like Fortune Skeep is going to be introduced here in the Season 2 update for MW3. Now, you're probably wondering what was inside of this box. This is the uncovering and opening that they ended up doing. So Kesto here, he opened up the box and within the box, there was foam and there was another box inside of it. Once he opened it up once again, there was a glass cube. There was also brick that was wrapped. And the final thing is there was a little letter or a card and it said, Dear Kesto, two things are guaranteed on Fortune's Keep, death and second chances. So once again, they have confirmed Fortune's Keep is back. The last time Fortune's Keep was alive, you only died 832 times, which is his personal stat, but the same results aren't guaranteed this time around. Take this piece of Fortune's Keep peer to get a better idea of your target. From my understanding, Fortune's Keep never had a peer, so this might be a tease at a brand new location. And then it says, here's a head start. Drop in that POI for good looting and proximity to both land and water vehicles. Good luck and good fortune. And they gave him instructions to follow, which were insert the brick into the glass cube, slowly fill it with water until it is submerged. Watch the show, remove after 15 minutes. He went ahead and did that, and when he dropped it in and filled it up with water, whatever it was that was covering this POI started dissolving, and it gave it 15 minutes around that time to pretty much dissolve everything later. And then he ended up uncovering it, and it was actually a little 3D model of a brand new point of interest that I don't believe was available in the old Fortune's Keep. According to leakers, this is going to be a location that will be right near the lighthouse. So as I mentioned in the card, it will be a pier, and it'll be right off the coast. For Majin, the other streamer, he ended up receiving a different POI, and that was actually Winery, which is the same location that we did see previously, except... There was one change and there's a huge crater or crack right down the center of the building. Other than the change to this POI, I'm not entirely sure what this could potentially be teasing. Will we be getting earthquake public events? Will there be other different locations that are going to be cracked like this and adjusted? They're obviously not keeping Fortune's Keep the same exact way that we had it before, but they're actually doing some changes here, introducing new locations, adjusting the current ones that we have. I guess they're trying to make it fit. So it's a little bit better because there were mixed opinions in regards to Fortune's Keep. Anyways, what are your thoughts and opinions on these different location changes and the new POI introduced? We should be getting even more information with the other three creators that will probably be revealed tomorrow or later today. And then leakers also came in clutch with some more new information and they said some stuff on fortune skeep there will be a new intro to map spawn there will be an elimination celebration there will be a squad elimination streak there will be a bunker buster kill streak a signal public event zombie hunt contract a research barge a new location has a bridge that can be opened and closed. Although this is a map that's coming in from the past, it looks like they're bringing in all new content to try and make it feel a little bit more fresh and it doesn't feel like it's just reused and recycled content and the same experience that we previously had. Anyways, we have some other leaks that I wanna go over and talk about. Some of these are scheduled for season two, others we have no idea when they're gonna release. The first one is a brand new Modern Warfare 3 Zombie season two mission and here's what the requirements and the goals are. It says rescue Fletcher, Go to Fletcher's last known location, investigate, investigate the nearby distress signal, defend, defend the remaining survivors until the ACV is ready. And this one's a little bit weird. It says regroup, 
regroup at the ACV with the remaining Terminus agents. This one is pretty crazy because we know that as Deadbolt operatives, our enemy is Terminus outcome. And it looks like from this mission, we're actually going to be working with them. Definitely something crazy must have gone down for us to be working with Terminus. But the next one, it says escort, escort Terminus to Fletcher's last known location, investigate the source of the signal disruption and eliminate the source of signal disruption. I hope this time around the source of the signal is not another worm. It seems like some of these missions are very similar to past ones that we got. I hope there's a completely new boss, something completely brand new, different, and the story takes a turn. So that way it brings in fresh new content. But regardless, those are the season two missions that we have. Another thing that was leaked is apparently camel mixing might be coming to Modern Warfare 3. Fumo leaks, he says, according to his insider, he got some photos. I'm not even sure if these are accurate, if these are using unlock tools or mods. I have no idea, but some of these photos, you can see the Borealis camel mixed with Interstellar. You also see the Serpent tonight mixed with other camels, the Magma camel, and then you have another one, which is Priceless, mixed with the Ghouli camo. From what I recall, they did talk about a feature like this coming to Modern Warfare 2, where they showed Polyatomic and other camels being mixed together, but it just never made it to the full release of Modern Warfare 2. This time around, maybe they can end up doing it with MW3. We have a wide selection of different camos, well over a thousand camos that you can equip and put on and use, and they're just going to continue getting added, and it would be pretty crazy if you could start mixing and matching these camos. As of right now, only one leaker has mentioned this. I don't think there's any information in regards to it in the file, so it doesn't look like it's an update that will come anytime soon, especially with season two that starts in a week. If it does end up happening, we will get a little bit more information before the update for it goes live. A couple more leaks should start surfacing and more will come out, but in the meantime, as of right now, just take this with a grain of salt. This would be a pretty crazy feature if they did add it and the camo variations and combinations would be endless. In the meantime, there are other upcoming weapons that will have their own set of camos. And these are the following weapons that have been leaked for season two. We have the HRM 762, which is the Beretta ARX 200. That will be a battle rifle. We have the Anvil B, also known as the FNF 2000. That is an AR. This one, I'm more than certain, will be coming in Season 2. There's a Mastery Emblem already available in the files, which looks like this. And then Call of Duty teased it with the marketing for the ranked play. So this one, I have a high confidence and high hopes that they will be releasing it. The next one is the PM9 or the Maniba PM9 SMG. We also have the MTAR. Another name is the IWI X95. This will also be an SMG. And then finally, we have the Sword Melee Weapon. In terms of other upcoming weapons, we talked about how Advanced Warfare theme would be coming in Season 3. It's looking like that idea unfortunately has gotten scrapped because the EM1 was apparently removed from the files with one of the more recent updates. COD Warfare posted, he said, looks like the EM1 has been canned. JP32 is now just a pistol. There is no e mic one in the files anymore. And then he replied to that and he said there's no longer a JP34 either. So the ASM1 is gone as well. But then he mentioned the Moors and the BAL are still available. Maybe they're removing them to rework on them and then they'll add them in or if they're just permanently gone and they're just slowly removing these weapons out and I guess they scrapped the entire idea of having a season three advanced warfare type of theme that we previously talked about. Anyways, these things do happen with leaks. And remember, if nothing has been confirmed by Call of Duty, don't expect it to fully release and just always take everything with a grain of salt. But that's pretty much all that I have for you guys here in today's video. There is gonna be a lot more news to come out starting tomorrow. We're gonna have a little bit more marketing and then the major topics to expect and everything in regards to season two will be taking place Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time when they drop the full on blog post and that I will be covering here on the channel for you guys. But that's all that I got for you guys here in this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully I'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again. Peace.